I'm just approaching a beach that I'm going to land on and I want to film it from the drone. So that's my Pelican case which I have a 3DR Solo in which didn't behave very well so I didn't use it much. Most of the time I used my two Mavics which were always reliable and I was also able to launch them on very rough seas and they always managed to initialize and I managed to land them safely each time which was pretty hard work. They were pretty quick to set up. That's a polarizing filter that I've got on, I left that on most of the time. had two mobile phones for backup that's my old iPhone 5 which I was happier to get wet if uh, if it happened there's no phone coverage out there it's just purely for the drone control so you got to be very careful when launching from a moving boat because as soon as you launch the drone wants to stay still but it appears to you like it's shooting off in the direction so you've got to be as still as you can or launch it uh, so you prepare that it's going to try and stay still and predict which direction that's going to be so it doesn't fly into your face all right so we're just telling me then right so it's ready to go i've got gps just check a few pre-flight things battery percentage controller percentage 79 percent it's all good i focused it uh, i'm recording now and now I'm going to launch it, and I'm not drifting. So I want to get a shot uh, of me coming into this campsite. Let's focus it again. What a beautiful, beautiful campsite it's going to be. It's going to be unbelievable. Wow. Just the gimbal. All right, let's get going. Yes, we're recording. Uh, I'm going to make it active track me. Active track. Unfortunately, I can't show the DJI app view because there wasn't enough memory on my phone. So as I'm doing this, I'm scanning between the task at hand, which is driving the raft, and secondly, driving the drone. So I'm trying to look through the viewfinder, shield, the sun that's coming onto the screen, uh, think about what shots I might need, uh, try not to bump the sticks so I have erratic movements and also try and just enjoy how nice it is because it's a pretty spectacular spot and I've never been here before I can see that it's you know a beautiful beach it's going to be a nice calm night I'm probably going to have to worry about the crocodiles and there was actually a croc that lives in there um, I ended up having to string my hammock up a boab tree uh, it probably wasn't quite out of the reach of the crocs but it, I just felt a little bit safer than just lying flat on the ground there There's nobody out in these places, it's just completely remote. You don't see boats or anything, it's just beautiful. You don't know which shot you're going to use when you're doing this, you just try and get as many as you can and hopefully get something at the end that you just go, yeah, I love that little three to five second take and you capture that. <laughs> 